This protocol enables detection of A-beta multimers in human cortical tissue. First, homogenized tissue is probesonicated and clarified by low-speed centrifugation. Next, samples are reduced, boiled in SDS buffer and loaded onto a polyacrylamide gel. Proteins are transferred to a nitrocellulose membrane and the membrane is steam heated in phosphate buffered saline. Finally, on an orbital shaker, the membrane is incubated overnight in primary antibody, HRP conjugated secondary antibody and then aluminol peroxide reagents before exposure to X-ray film. Hi, I'm Rebecca Rosen from the laboratory of Larry Walker in the Department of Neuroscience at the Yerkes National Primate Research Center at Emory University. Today we will show you how to detect A-beta multimers in cortical homogenates using SDS gel electrophoresis and immunoblotting with heat-induced antigen retrieval. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the levels and distribution of distinct A-beta multimers in unfixed cortical tissues from humans with Alzheimer's disease and aged non-human primates. So let's get started. Start with around 100 milligrams of unfixed cortical tissue and dance homogenize in around 400 microliters of ice cold buffer with approximately 30 even pestle strokes. For 20% weight per volume, the tissue weight to buffer volume ratio should be 1 milligram to 4 microliters. After homogenization, transfer homogenates to a 4 milliliter polypropylene tube and probe sonicate 3 times 5 seconds at power 5. After sonication, transfer homogenates to 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube.